Good afternoon, everyone. From the Central Illinois Weather Network, I'm Larry Estep. Severe thunderstorms and tornadoes with large, violent tornadoes being reported this afternoon already across portions of Alabama and Mississippi. You're looking at a regional radar loop right now uh, of Alabama as these storms have raced out of portions of Mississippi. We've got several clusters here. You can see all these red tornado warnings popping up with these individual cells here. We've got three supercells with tornadoes down in the southern part of Alabama right now. Another line right now moving into portions of northwestern Alabama as it moves out of northeastern Mississippi and there are flash flood warnings as well. We're going to try to go through some of these warnings here. I'll show you some different radar views. First let's go to the Gulf Coast radar from uh, Storm Lab here and show you these storms are rapidly firing up uh, with this moisture stream out of the Gulf of Mexico and approaching very shortly the Montgomery, Alabama area, also areas to the north including the Atlanta area later on today may see some very dangerous weather. We've got this uh, really intense Tense line of storms now over northern Mississippi and Alabama and then look at all these cells back to the southwest uh, coming toward the Jackson Mississippi area all of these have the potential of producing heavy rains dangerous damaging straight line winds and tornadoes this afternoon this is going to be a very volatile area with more tornadoes throughout the afternoon let's go in with storm lab here to the mobile Alabama uh, National Weather Service radar and show you all these tornado warnings I'm going to try to go down the list here and uh, we'll just uh, take a little view of the radars as we do that uh, have a new tornado warning now for southwestern Alabama central Marengo County there is a confirmed tornado at 1219 being tracked by the National Weather Service near Nanafalia or 17 miles southwest of Linden this tornado moving to the northeast at 35 miles an hour we also have a tornado warning for southeastern Choctaw County in southwest Alabama, northern Clark County in southwest Alabama. This includes the cities of Thomasville, Grove Hill, north central Washington County in southwest Alabama is also under this. This is a trained weather spotter reported tornado 10 miles north of Chatham or 7 miles east of Millery moving northeast at 35. Persons in the path of this storm central time would be serviced by around 1230. Coffeyville by 12.35, Grove Hill by 12.55, and Fulton and Thomasville around 1 p.m. this afternoon. We also have a tornado warning now for southeastern Leake County in central Mississippi, Neshoba County in east central Mississippi, including the city of Philadelphia. At 12.13, National Weather Service meteorologists were tracking a tornado 11 miles southwest of Madden, moving east at 50 miles an hour. We're going to switch you over here to the Brandon Jackson, Mississippi radar. You can see these storms back to the southwest of Jackson, Mississippi right now. These storms moving to the northeast. Most of these have had this movement around 35 miles an hour. Damage has been reported with this tornado in far northwestern Scott County and across the Jackson metropolitan area. So that's with the this particular cell here again for southeastern Leake County in central Mississippi, Neshoba County, including the city of Philadelphia. Let's move in a little bit closer here on that one. We'll show you this uh, up close here. We've got that uh, real definite uh, hook echo coming up on radar. Here's Philadelphia. These storms are moving in that direction. Let's put a path cast on this if we can here and we'll show you the uh, uh, what path cast is thinking. 1247 is what path cast is coming up with for this cell uh, moving toward the Philadelphia area and it will continue to uh, maintain its strength most likely as it moves that direction. Back here uh, in central Illinois, we'll, uh, we have nothing right at the moment. Storms have moved up to the northeast, back to uh, mobile this afternoon, and we can see these uh, reports here. Uh, this uh, tornado report here icon showing up on the screen telling us that uh, there was a confirmed tornado report with this cell that's now over here. Pathcast on that, we put that in Grove Hill and Fulton just after 1 p.m. this afternoon. Uh, again, let's go back to the warnings and uh, tell you this uh, particular storm, um, as we, for some reason, keep switching back to the Springfield, Illinois radar, our home base. Uh, obviously not much going on there. Back to Storm Predator. We'll show you this in motion again as we're giving you these warnings. Uh, the National Weather Service estimating this storm that's being tracked uh, over southeastern Leak and Neshoba counties will be in Philadelphia by 1245 this afternoon. Also, we've got a tornado warning uh, coming in for Octiba County in northeast Mississippi, including the city of Starkville, that's till 1 p.m. That is a, uh, a radar indicated storm. Northern Monroe County in south central Alabama, uh, that uh, is a radar indicated uh, warning there. A tornado warning also from Marengo County in southwest Alabama till 1230. A confirmed tornado by law enforcement seven miles west of Arat around 1147 this morning central time or 31 miles south of Cuba. A tornado moving to the 
northeast at 35 miles an hour. Lots of warnings. It's hard to keep up with all of these. Uh, southeastern Choctaw County again, northwestern Clark County, north northern Washington County, including the city of Chatham, that under a tornado warning till 1230. Just uh, going down the list here, some of these are duplicates, but I want to make sure we get uh, all of the most current information that we got. Uh, and looks like uh, the warnings are continuing for, uh, again, Choctaw County in central Mississippi. And we have uh, a tornado warning for Columbus Air Force Base, including the city of Columbus in northeast Mississippi. This would be Loundis County and southeastern Clay County. Uh, severe thunderstorm po possibly producing a tornado 10 miles west of Crawford, moving northeast at 40 miles an hour. Let's go back to that Brandon Jackson, Mississippi radar and try to zoom in here on this. This is a funnel cloud reported here in Yarbo, Alabama, in Washington County. Uh, also had a uh, tornado touchdown reported by a spotter uh, near State Line, Mississippi. We had uh, some tornadoes a little while ago near Yazoo, Mississippi, which uh, Yazoo City, which we know what was a very uh, uh, bad place for tornadoes last year. Uh, we're seeing rotation here just to the southwest of, Mar of uh, Linden in Marengo County here. Uh, this particular cell now is showing uh, signs of uh, producing a tornado again. And a pathcast on that one more time would show us uh, in Thomaston around 1257, Uniontown by 119. Further south, again, this storm here moving toward the Thomasville area. Here's another report uh, uh, popping up here. These are funnel cloud and tornado reports that have been uh, just coming in one right after another uh, with these storms. Again, Columbus Air Force Base uh, under the gun here. Also, the city of Butler in southwestern Alabama under a tornado warning now. That would be northern Choctaw County. And a tornado warning, uh, another one here just coming in. We'll get that for you. Let's go back to the Gulf Coast, Coast radar again and show you uh, these uh, storms that are, again, firing up to the southwest over portions of eastern Louisiana, streaming into southwestern Mississippi, across most of the state of Mississippi, eventually, or again, are going to be affecting the Montgomery, Alabama area, Atlanta, Georgia, and on up into Tennessee. I think that's where our biggest tornado threat is going to be this afternoon, as we keep an eye on things very closely. Uh, you can see all these tornado warnings, some of them overlapping. We're getting uh, reports uh, of uh, funnel clouds with these. Also, we're getting reports of uh, actual tornado touchdowns. Uh, a funnel cloud uh, here near Coffeyville, Alabama. Uh, this one here, tornado touchdown reported by a spotter again in State Line, Mississippi. Uh, come back here again to the west, the, this Jackson, Mississippi area where they've already had damage, a tornado warning until 1.30 p.m. this afternoon. Uh, the whole area under a tornado watch, and I'm really surprised we don't have a PDS tornado watch giving this situation. A new warning just coming in now, northern Copia County in central Mississippi. This includes the city of Crystal Springs, south central Hines County in central Mississippi, south, southwestern Rankin County in central Mississippi. This includes the city of Star, northwestern Simpson County, and southeastern Claiborne County, all in Mississippi. Uh, this is a radar indicated tornado again. Uh, and this is moving to the northeast, as most of them have this afternoon, at around 35 to 40 miles per hour. So no um, uh, rest from the severe weather here this afternoon. Another warning coming in as, as we're speaking here. Northeastern Monroe County, southeastern Wilcox County, both in south central Alabama. So that would be with these uh, storms over here. Let's switch back over to Mobile if we can, and we'll show you that uh, uh, those, uh, those storms there. Again, that... Um, Back over to the mobile radar, we can show you, uh, again, that warning would be for uh, a funnel cloud 13 miles north of Monroeville about four minutes ago, or near Franklin, moving northeast at 40 miles an hour, northeastern Monroe, southeastern Wilcox counties in south central Alabama. That warning in effect until 1.30 p.m. So we've got a large area of major population uh, density that a number of metropolitan areas are being affected by these storms this afternoon. And you can see here four individual cells that we're watching just off the Mobile Alabama radar, all with tornadoes indicated by radar some with tornadoes on the ground being followed by uh, weather spotters. And those will uh, continue to strengthen and move to the northeast. A lot to tell you this afternoon. We'll try to keep you up to date as the afternoon and evening goes on. A high risk of tornadoes again over the Gulf Coast states this afternoon.